Hi folks, ready to explore with us? Today we show how to enter Canada with a Nexus card and what common concerns people have when arriving. If you want to make your border crossing into Canada seamless while cutting down on delays, you're in the right place. Today we are focusing on entering Canada with the Nexus Card, a program for pre-approved travelers to speed up the entry process. However, it worth noting that it doesn't exempt you from standard border protocol or a place a visa. We are not in Stepa, your smart travel duo. Concerns when entering Canada People may have various concerns when entering Canada depending on their circumstances. Among some common worries are immigration status, customs declarations, duties and taxes, healthcare guidelines, border interview, wait time, language barrier, criminal record, pets and animals. I'm sure we've all been there, especially moving between countries. Entering Canada with Nexus can eliminate some of the above. However, there will be some that still might carry a concern or those that are not affected by your Nexus card holder status. We will not be covering what is the Nexus card in this video because we've already made a full video about it earlier and you can check it on our channel page. Now let's uncover these concerns one by one. Immigration status. For a traveler to be issued a Nexus card, they must be a citizen or permanent resident of Canada or the United States. Applicants must also be legally admissible to both countries have complied with immigration and customs regulations during previous travels and must pass criminal history and law enforcement checks. Permanent residents of either country must also meet certain residence requirements. Having an access card is like having a secret pass that gets you a faster entry whether flying, driving or even sailing to Canada. The Canada Border Services Agency said that there were 1.7 million Nexus card holders as of May 2021. According to Customs and Border Protection, 77% of those with Nexus cards are Canadians and 21% are Americans. The Nexus card itself does not affect your immigration status nor does it affect your right to work in Canada. And Nexus card indicates that you have undergone a thorough background check and are considered a low risk for immigration violation. Still, it doesn't change or influence your immigration status or affect your work permit. For example, if you require a visa to enter Canada or the United States, having an Nexus card will not replace the requirements. You'll still need to obtain the appropriate visa for your travel purposes. Similarly, the Nexus card does not grant you any special privileges in terms of staying in either country for an extended period working or even becoming a permanent resident. So while a Nexus card can make your border crossing experience more efficient, it does not alter or affect your immigration status in any way. Customs declarations, duties and taxes. Yes, the Nexus card does impact the customs declaration process when crossing the border between the United States and Canada. Nexus card holders often have access to expedited customs and declaration services, which can make the process quicker and more streamlined. However, it's important to note that having a Nexus card does not exempt you from adhering to customs laws and regulations you're still required to declare any goods you bring across the border and you may still be subject to duties or taxes on those goods. Failure to properly declare items can result in penalties and jeopardize your Nexus membership. Ultimately, the Nexus card can make the customs declaration process more efficient. You must still comply with all customs laws and regulations and pay the necessary duties and taxes. Healthcare guidelines. Having a Nexus card does not exempt travelers from COVID-19 or any other health-related entry requirements when traveling to Canada. In terms of healthcare access and coverage in Canada, it is generally determined by residency status and not by a trusted traveler program like Nexus. All visitors to Canada, including Nexus card holders, are responsible for securing their travel insurance to cover medical expenses unless they are eligible for a provincial healthcare plan which is generally not the case for short-term visitors. So if you're concerned about healthcare while entering Canada, it is important to plan for that separately and familiarize yourself with the current government guideline before entry. Interview process. 
Yes, the Nexus card does affect the interview process when entering Canada. One of the benefits of being a Nexus card holder is that you generally experience a more streamlined and expedited interview process at the border. You'll often have access to dedicated lanes and kiosks designed for Nexus card holders, making the entry process quicker and more efficient. However, it's still important to note that random checks can still occur and you may be selected for a more detailed interview or inspection regardless of your Nexus cardholder status. Additionally, you must still answer all questions truthfully and comply with all entry requirements, including those related to customs and immigration. If your personal information changed since you obtained your Nexus card, such as moving or getting a new passport, an officer will likely ask you additional questions. A Nexus card can make the interview process faster and more convenient, but it doesn't exempt you from the possibility of a more thorough inspection or questioning. Wait time. One of the primary benefits of having a Nexus card is that it generally results in shorter wait times when entering Canada. Nexus card holders have access to dedicated lane at many land border crossings and expedited processing at airports, which can significantly reduce the time spent waiting to clear customs and immigration. The program is designed to expedite the border crossing process for pre-approved low-risk travelers, making it a convenient option for those who travel frequently between the United States and Canada and wish to save some time during the entry process. However, you have to remember that while wait times are generally much shorter for Nexus card holders, there can still be delays during peak travel times or due to other unforeseen circumstances. Additionally, random checks can occur, which might extend the time for required entry. Now, let's tackle a couple of real-life scenarios. If traveling with companions, you may use the same Nexus lane and kiosk only when all party members are also Nexus holders. Otherwise, you'll have to submit your arrival ticket separately. Nexus kiosk can take up to four people and e-gate only takes one person. If you are traveling with kids and are sharing custody, don't forget the kids' Nexus card, custody papers and letter from the other parent or guardian. Overall, having a Nexus card will make your experience entering Canada quicker and more efficient than the standard entry process. Language barrier. The streamlined process and use of automated kiosks might minimize the need for extensive verbal communication, which could benefit those who are not fluent in English or French, Canada's two official languages. However, it's still important to note that random checks can still occur, as we've already mentioned. Having a Nexus card indirectly makes the process easier for those concerned about language barriers, but it is not a solution to that specific issue. Criminal record. The Nexus card has a significant relationship with the issue of criminal records when entering Canada. To be approved for a Nexus card, applicants undergo a thorough background check, which includes criminal history. Generally, individuals with criminal record are not eligible for the Nexus program. If you already have a Nexus card, it implies that you pass this background check making criminal history a non-issue for entry into Canada under the Nexus program. However, it is crucial to maintain a clean criminal record to keep your Nexus privileges. Any new criminal activity could revoke your Nexus card and affect your ability to enter Canada or the United States. So in summary, having a Nexus card means that the issue of the criminal records has already been addressed and cleared for border crossing. You have to maintain that clear record and remember it's essential for you to continue participate in the Nexus program. Pets and animals. The Nexus card does not specifically expedite or affect the process of bringing pets and animals into Canada. Standard rules and regulations for importing animals still apply regardless whether you're a Nexus card holder or not. This typically includes vaccinations, health certificates, fees and possibly quarantine requirements depending on the animal and its country of origin. While the Nexus card can make the human traveler's border crossing experience more efficient, it doesn't offer special privileges or streamlined processes for pets or animals. You'll need to adhere to all the standard requirements for bringing animals into Canada, which may include presenting documentation to border agents, even if you're using expedited Nexus lanes. 
So if you're traveling with pets or animals, it's important to prepare and plan according to the standard rules, as having an access card will not simplify or expedite this aspect of border crossing. Real scenario. Most pets can go with you through Nexus Lane, but there are a few rules. Ensure your pet is up to date with all their vaccinations and check what documents you need to provide to cross the border with your pet. Usually it's a vet certificate and an inspection fee. Pet birds are prohibited and animals used for commercial purposes cannot go through Nexus. In summary, a Nexus card offers a streamlined and efficient way to cross into Canada while addressing many common concerns that travelers face at the border. While it doesn't replace visas or exempt you from all standard protocols, it does make the process quicker and less cumbersome in many aspects by positively impacting customs declarations, interview procedures, wait times, language barriers and issues related to criminal records. However, it does not affect immigration status, healthcare guidelines or the process for bringing pets and animals into the country. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Till, Till next time!